Hi friends. I am here today to share with you another making meaning lesson and we're continuing our work with visualizing. Today I am going to read a beautiful book about a young kid and her mom. This is Mama's Kimar and Kimar is another word for hijab, which is a scarf worn uh, to cover the hair and worn on the head. And in this story, I want you to practice your visualization skills of what you see and what you hear. So we're going to really use the senses of sight and hearing today. And remember friends, we visualize to better understand the books we read and listen to. And visualizing means we're creating a mental image, a picture in our minds or a movie in our minds. And today I want to, you to, to challenge you to make that a moving picture, something where you can see things actually happening and you will be asked to stop and draw when we're reading the book a couple of times and really think about what you see in your mind and what what sounds you may hear from what you see okay so on seesaw you will also see a form that looks like this when you're doing your student response. See. So remember, we're going to use I'm picturing in my mind, I see, and my mental image is when we talk about our mental image. And then good readers visualize, they use all of these senses. But today we're going to focus on what you see. And you're going to use the sentence stem, I see and I hear. The sentence stems, I see and I hear. So right now you can write on your paper. And get a piece of paper out and write on your paper, I see. And then draw a line and write, I hear. I see, I hear. And then when we're writing today, when we're drawing today, you can draw what you see and then draw what you hear all throughout the book. I'm going to ask you, what do you see? What do you hear? And then afterwards, you can share what you saw and what you heard in your visualization, in your mental image on Seesaw. As readers, Good readers visualize to better understand the books they read. Here we go, friends. Mama's Kimar. <laughs> Mama's Kimar by Jamila Tompkins Bigelow and illustrated by Ebony Glynn. So Jamila is the author, she wrote the words, and Ebony is the illustrator, she drew the pictures. A kimar is a flowing scarf that my mama, mommy wears. Before she walks out the door each day, she wraps one around her head. In mommy's closet, there are so many kimars, so many that I can't count them. Black ones, white ones, purple, blue and red, stripes, patterns, and polka dots too. Okay, friends, pause the video. What do you see in your mental image, in your mind, and what do you hear? Draw what you see and what you hear. Use the words to guide you. Then unpause the video and we will continue reading. 
Some have tassels, some have beads, some have sparkly things all over. And she has my favorite color, yellow. When I put on mommy's kimyar, I become a queen with a golden train. Under the kimar, my braids and twists form a bumpy crown. It's not easy to cover that many plates mommy oh. puts in my hair. Plates are rows of braids. When I wear mommy's kimar, I shine like the sun. I dive and become a shooting star in a pile of clouds. Of course, I make sure that mommy doesn't see me. When I wear mommy's kimar, I am a mama bird. I spread my golden wings and shield my baby brother as he sleeps in his nest. Mommy shakes her head, but her eyes are smiling. When I wear mommy's kimar, I am a superhero in a cape, dashing from room to room at the speed of light. Daddy snatches me up and I fly. Mommy can't stop laughing when his bristly beard tickles my cheeks with a kiss. Okay, friends, stop, pause the video. What do you see and what do you hear in your mental image? Unpause the video. When I wear mommy's kimar, mommy is with me even when she's away. I close my eyes and if I breathe in deeply, really deeply, I smell the coconut oil in mommy's hair and the cocoa butter on her skin. And if I breathe in even more deeply than that, I smell cinnamon in her favorite dessert. She always shares a piece. Mm, friends, again, pause the video. This one is a good one for smell. So if you see something in your mind, you can draw it under C. And unpause the video. When I wear mommy's kimar and mom mom visits after Sunday service, she sings out, sweet Jesus, and calls me sunshine. Mom mom doesn't wear a kimar. She doesn't go to the mosque like mommy and daddy do. We are a family and we love each other just the same. So friends here, it's sharing that they don't practice mom, mom, her grandma doesn't practice the same religion as they do, but they love each other just the same. When I go to the mosque wearing mommy's kimar, the older women coo. Asalamu alakamu alakam, little sis. Mommy smiles so proud. My Arabic teacher exclaims, beautiful, beautiful hijab. Hijab is the word she uses for kimar. Sometimes I say hijab too. When I wear mommy's kimar and we go home and it starts to get dark outside mommy tells me gently take it off it's time for sleep she removes the kimar from her head and i remove mine we hang them up for the night i look at all the kimars too many to count i stroke the yellow scarf one last time i close my eyes and breathe in deeply really deeply and if i breathe in deeply enough i can take Mommy's kimar with me. I place it inside my head. I take other things and place them there too. Ooh, friends, our character is visualizing. What do you see? What do you hear right now? Draw those on your page and pause the video if you need time. A crown with a train, the sun, a shooting star, a baby dozing on a golden wing. I tickle, I take a ticklish kiss in the sky. Coconut and cocoa with cinnamon sweet and the prayers of gray haired women. I take all these things with me and go to sleep. 
Though mommy is away, it feels like she comes too. The end. Friends, what a beautiful story. Please share with Mr. O'Hara and I your visualization using the sentence stems I see and I hear. What did you draw throughout Mommy's Kimar, throughout our book today? And specifically think about what you saw and what you heard. Remember, friends, good readers use visualization to better understand the books they read. Bye, friends.